Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so today is the Saturday for the rom which gives the first breath of new life to our old devices like OnePlus 6 and 60 along with my channel why first built up android 12 based cyber os project so cyber os for the OnePlus 6 is now dead is it true or fake to get the clear answer watch the video till the end of my fun verdict I remember the day 2nd November 2021 I uploaded my first video of CyberOS after spending whole night immediately on the second day when their first build was released that video got the amazing response and I decided to give the review of each and every update for the Android 12 based custom rom for the OnePlus 6 this rom is always ranked at top of my list because they built this rom from the scratch with the amazing stability performance battery life and the features They have amazing developers like Danny SPB, Blinop, and hold the team. On the 18th May, they released the new final build of OnePlus 6. They added some amazing features, added some changes from new Android 13 Beta 1. They fixed some old issues and done some underhood changes. Today in this video, I will do the full review of new features, performance, and the stability check of the ROM along with the camera. Now without further ado, let's get started for the review of this amazing ROM. I will not show the installation again here you can watch that from the right side card video it's a simple if you are already on the cyber os you will get the ot update notification you can download the update in the ot and flash it this will install the rom without formatting the data or you can also flash the update via twrp without formatting data as i am coming from the another rom i flash the update via twrp formatted data and reboot it to the system do you are watching this amazing boot animation of legendary rom cyber os last time let it be we will check that at the end of the video after completing the setup as usual every time we will check the about phone section this is the android 12.1 or the 12l build with the all the latest sources merged from the android 12 release candidate 5 security patch is updated to the latest 5th may 2022 the biggest change in the update is the new kernel 4.9.314 builded with the google's clan llvm tool chain The new kernel merged with the Pixel scheduler from the Android 13 Beta 1 update. This ROM is built on 18th May 2022. Now let's check what new feature has been added in the ROM. ROM now comes with the new updated Quick Step Launcher which has some amazing feature like taskbar. These tabs are available in the home setting accessible while long pressing on the home screen. When we enable this tab, we can see the big pill at the bottom. We can see the new animation effect when we try to access the app drawer while swiping up and down. When you long press on this pill, you get all the home screen dock applications at the bottom. And if you want to disable them, long press on the empty corner of the taskbar. So this one is very useful feature to access all the important applications that you adds in the home screen dock applications. One amazing feature is that if you long press on any of this taskbar application and drag them to the current running app, we can add that app as a split screen application. Any taskbar app can be quickly used as a split screen application. But one thing I didn't like about the taskbar is that the taskbar pill will be visible on always on display screen every time and sometimes this taskbar will cause some glitches while typing using keyboard. Another new feature we get in the same home setting of the launcher is to show the recent as the grid recent panel. This is the similar feature available for the Android 12L which is only available for the last screen devices like tablets. All the recent apps will be reduced to small grid only main running app will be available in a full screen. If you long press on any of recent app we we'll get same old setting like split app information and the four stop application we can also dismiss the app by swiping up the recent app card next thing we got in the update is the monet theming if you access the wallpaper and style app we we'll get some different themes along with the wallpaper based theming option in the basic color tab so we can change the color scheme of the rom using the basic colors to the desired color instead of wallpaper based monet theme colors So these are all the features added in the new ROM update. Now let's do the performance test of the new update. Before that, I check the CPU and the battery temperature. It's negligible about 47 degrees Celsius for the CPU and for battery it's about 39 degrees Celsius. Then I run the Geekbench test. I got 479 for the single core and for multi core I got 1895. Both the scores are lower as usual every time I got the same results in this ROM. But still ROM is very smooth and no lag will be seen anywhere even on the heavy task. 
for the GP performance test on the OpenGL drivers, we got double two six nine, which is more than the average results of the GPU test available at the Geekbench. So ROM will perform good in the gaming. As per these results, I already done some gaming on the previous versions of this ROM, and they all are smooth. As NAS safety net check passed successfully, so all the banking apps will work in this ROM. But why do I still on L3? So no HD content for the Netflix and Amazon Prime. Now it's time to check the stability of the ROM on the new update because the new update fixes some thermal pressure notifications and updated the kernel scheduler from the Android 13 beta 1. I check the CPU temperature before running the test. They are already high up, up to the 52 degrees Celsius because of the previous Geekbench test. I enabled the CPU temperature status in the CPU throttle application and started the test and stopped it after 8 minutes. So this one is the heavy test for the 5 year old CPU but still it's given the good results it's shown the 75% of maximum CPU throttle. CPU temperature risen to the 52, 60, 55, 53 respectively for the eCPU cores. Back area of the device near the camera still get warmer after this test. So it's obvious that the CPU throttle will happen to the some extent at the high temperatures. This ROM is the first ROM which added first fully working OnePlus camera in Android 12 custom ROMs. In this new build, this camera is still working perfectly. All the features are working like the night sight, portrait shots for the front and the back camera, timeless for the video recording. Slow motion may cause FC at the first time use but later it works without issue. Panorama mode is also working in the cam, 4K 60fps is working without the issue. In the camera setting, we get the new features like the smart content detection tab to detect the business cards, QR codes automatically while taking the pictures. Tripod long exposure setting available, it's useful while taking the steady pics or while taking the picture using the tripods. So this is all about the new and the final update for the OnePlus 6 Cyber OS. In one way, you can say this is true because the developer Danny SPB who is the maintainer of the ROM loses his device because of the broken screen of OnePlus 6. So he announced that he will not able to create the builds for OnePlus 6. OnePlus 60 Cyber OS is already dead because the maintainer several T is not maintaining the ROM from the long time. But wait, there are some hopes in the other world, you can say, we will get the updates if someone takes the responsibility to maintain the ROM. I talk with the some developers and hope is still there, we will not lose this amazing ROM, so finger cross. After 2 days update, Cyber OS gained its first rank in the list, second is the Evolution X and at the third, there is a Awaken OS. That's it guys for today, if you think I help you to choose the best custom ROM for your OnePlus 6 through this video, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.